All right. Well, before we bake later on in the show, we talk about the healthy things, nutrition with Kelly Springer, who is founder and owner of Kelly's Choice Nutritional yes. Company. Right, Kelly? Yes. Thanks for coming off the couch to talk about the good stuff I know. with us. I'm so excited to be here because it is January, so mm -hmm. people are really diving into what should we eat for this new year. I know we're all on those trends of getting in really good food. So we took the good things from 2013, and we're going to share those today about what to eat. Cool. So one of the main things is the Mediterranean diet. It's all over. I think you can hear all over the news yeah. right now. It's being promoted by dietitians all over the U.S. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is it's incorporating more nutrients in there, which is also correlated to better sleep. It's also incorporating nuts and eggs in this lifestyle versus a diet. It's actually right. a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So people that live around the Mediterranean are eating better and they have a better quality of life because they have low blood pressure. They have low cholesterol, less diabetes. Sounds all good. Of, I it know, does. right? So we okay. want to eat this way too. So all the things that you see here, more fruits and vegetables are incorporated in here as well, getting in more nutrients. So one of those things that we really want to promote is how all products aren't created equal. So picked up this package the other day, which we're leaving it blank here. Okay. But I'm going to share the back it's of the ingredients. It's a typical cereal bar that you might it find. It is a typical right? cereal bar. And I actually purchased this. So mm -hmm. I'm not saying that, you know, it's very tricky out there. Uh -huh. But then I was reading the ingredients for a talk I was doing. First ingredient, High fructose corn syrup. Not good, oh. not good, right? Processed, right? Yep. Second ingredient, corn syrup. Third ingredient, sugar. Yeah. Oh my so gosh. A so a very comparable. So where's the fruit in your fruit yeah. bar? Right? Hello, right. <laughs> it's right. way down there. Absolutely. So you're getting all sugar. A very comparable type of product is like the Kind Bar. So mm -hmm. the Kind Bars are going to incorporate amaranth, quinoa, whole grains. Are you? That's all the first ingredients in mm -hmm. here. So all products aren't created equal. We want to get in more grains because that means more fiber and more vitamins. Okay. Something else. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, the next thing, uh, you know, my mom was always like, oh, make sure you eat your breakfast in the morning. So Absolutely. So that's still in vogue. You've got to have breakfast, right? Absolutely. And it doesn't have to be as difficult as some people make it. It doesn't have to mm -hmm. be pancakes and waffles. It can be as easy that's good as... for Sundays. Yeah. It is. <laughs> we, we did it on Sunday. Yeah. We had a great, huge breakfast. And, you know, adding in some eggs is a great nutrition source. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get in a protein, mm -hmm. though, with that breakfast. Yeah. Very important. So something really easy you can do to add in. Our little nut packs. You can also do like a kind bar. Something super easy. This was my breakfast this morning. What, so, a, what about eggs? Eggs have protein. Eggs, eggs are fine. Eggs are great. Okay. Eggs are so eggs are one of those they things. They get a bad rap. Sometimes. They do sometimes, and I don't know why it's gone back and forth. Mm -hmm. But they're a wonderful, wonderful source of protein. Yeah. And these eggs right here are organic. They're actually fed flaxseed, but you can see up here too. So they do have better nutrition mm -hmm. than a conventional egg. Yeah. So you see a really lot of great. the cereals too. Um, they promote fiber. Fiber, fiber this, fiber one cereals, yeah. and kind of filling up, and that helps keep you full throughout the day, it right? It does, mm -hmm. but be careful of what you're getting, like a fiber one bar, different things that are out on the market. They might be adding in some fiber that you cannot digest. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone's ever eaten one of those fiber oh. bars. Yeah, they have really like rough on the tummy. We'll go so, with Yeah, so make sure we're getting a natural source in yeah. there as well, too. And, and sometimes they look like candy bars, though, because they get the sugar and they chocolate. They do, just like, you know, these uh, breakfast bars yep. here, you really have to be a smart consumer when you're looking at these products to make sure you're not just getting in all high fructose corn syrup or different products like that yeah. too. So really looking at the nutrition on your labels, I mean that's key, not it skipping is. on the nutrients. It is. And something simple that we want to keep our message of Kelly's Choice is real food. Mm -hmm. So if you're eating an apple or nuts or broccoli or chicken or eggs, mm -hmm. those are all real food. You don't have yeah. to worry about what's in them because there's one ingredient there. Right. Yeah. Right. The last thing on your list, uh, I, I can't believe I was actually following this, but eat more nuts. I yes. had that for a snack this morning. Well, okay. aren't you just so nutritional? <laughs> I try to be. Well, the thing about more nuts is that we don't want a large quantity of nuts. We want calories. it more so you don't want too many times calories. a week. So these are a great way. These 100 calorie packs of nuts or getting in a simple bar because mm -hmm. they do have a lot of calories, but they have so much nutrition. In this little pack, you can get three grams of fiber. Oh. You can mm -hmm. get potassium, vitamin E, calcium, all in this one little pack in 13 nuts. And you've got a couple cool events coming up real I do. quickly. Tell us. I do. So in Auburn, we have two events going on. We have one going on at the Auburn um, YMCA, and it's going to be starting in February. So call the YMCA, and they'll tell you all about it, but it's going to be a whole nutrition series. Okay. And also, there's a fry, free diabetes program going on at the Y2 on Thursday night starting in February, too. Cool. Okay. It's all so, there at kellyschoice.org, right? Yes. Yep. And coming up next, Brian Miller is back. He's off the couch as well. We're going to be talking movies.